Hello and welcome to your first project in C++ and today we're going to be discussing character counting. Uh, so the prerequisites for this will be you'll need to have watched my fifth video which is on strings and string functions and whatnot and the other one is I believe tutorial 9 which is on loops. You don't need to see tutorial 10 with the, with the, the other stuff, that's just other stuff. Uh, so that's all you really need to know so also since we're dealing with strings to so include your string so okay so now we're back to character counting so what is character counting well you can define that in many different ways one way is you might just want to know how many characters there are in a string literal or maybe you ha want to know how many of a specific character uh, occurs in a string like how many A's are there in a string or you might want to know how many combinations of characters are there in a string like how many times does a certain word pop up you know in the string literal so there's many different uh, things you can do and I'm gonna do all three of those so first of all uh, let's um, create a string here so I'll call it string input and oh come on there we go and then we'll have a message that prints out that will say please type in a string and a semicolon then a C in, then input. Then uh, for C out, we'll have it say number of characters. Um, so how do we figure out how many characters there are? So that's the first one we're going to do is just flat out how many characters are there in a string. That's actually pretty easy. In tutorial number five, we learned about the um, size or length. I'll use a length, and that should be it, right? That's pretty easy. So this one's really the easiest one. So I'll run this and I'll type out hello world and yep, I was trying to fool you there. Did you forget? In the fifth tutorial, if I, uh, I showed you if you enter a string that has a white space in it, just using the C in isn't good enough. We have to use the get line. So as you can see, it only got the five characters for the word hello, but then it stopped after that. So instead of using this guy, we're going to use the get line. And then the first parameter is the C in. Then the second one will be the variable. So, is that it? Well, let's see. So, we'll run this. And then I'll type in hello world again. And now we get 11. So, is that all the characters there are? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, as again, if you remember in the fifth tutorial, it also counts the white spaces as well. So maybe your job is to exclude white spaces. So let's figure out how we go about doing that. So still technically on the first example, we're going to need a for loop. Um, so we're going to have to create an unsigned int i is equal to zero. i is less than, and we have to have, well, i is less than the length. So you know what? I'm gonna have to create a, another variable here. That's gonna be int num of chars. So that's gonna be equal to how many characters there are. And we're gonna initialize it with the full length of our input variable, our string input. So that would be input.length. And so the reason why I have to make this an unsigned int is because of this function, the uh, the length function actually returns an unsigned int so we have to make sure they are the same same data type otherwise we'll get an error or a warning which could result in an error in other operating systems and whatnot so make sure this is an unsigned int because this returns an unsigned int so we need to compare unsigned ints then inside here we're going to need an if statement so as we go through each character in the string if then the string so inputs dot at i so we're so uh, as we go through each character in this loop we'll have an if statement that says if at that index in the string if it's equal to then a null character so this returns the character at index i and if it's a, uh, equal to an empty character remember characters are denoted by the single quotes not double quotes or the apostrophes what do you want to call them uh, then so if it's empty then we're going to take num of charge, which is the original length of the string, and decrement it by one, like that. So, if we click save, this should work. 
So if I type in a uh, hello world, click enter. Oh, whoops. Sorry, I forgot one thing. Instead of printing the length, you're going to want to print num of chars. There we go. So I'll save. Now that should work. So, hello world. And now it says 10. And it also works if you put a white space at the end. You never have to worry about that. So we could go hello world and then add another space there. And you still get the 10. So it's all perfect. So that's the first example. Now the second example might be, well, what if you want to look for a certain instance of a character? Well, you still use this loop, but instead of lo looking for an empty string, look for whatever character you want to look for. So, uh, hello world. Let's look for the L's in there. So I'll click save. I'll run this. And let's type in... Oh, wait a minute. That actually has to change. So this function is actually almost correct. Uh, instead of using num of chars starting at the size, this time we want it to start at zero. Uh, so it's going to start at zero, then every time we find an L, we'll actually increment it this time. So that makes sense, right? Sorry about that. I just came off my object-oriented programming stuff for C++. A lot harder than this stuff. Oh my goodness. So tired right now. Okay, so let's type in hello world. So we have three L's. And there it is, number of characters, or number of L's, I guess, is three. And again, it also works if the L's are at the beginning, so I'll put an L at the very beginning, and one at the very end, and that says number of characters five, so you don't have to worry about the boundaries, it all works. Uh, so that's it for that. Now the last one is probably the most complicated example. What if you want to, for an example, um, return every time Let's say every time Adam appears in string. Now we're not going to worry about worry about uppercase or lowercase, okay? Um, so, uh, so I'll actually sh show you if you do have to worry about lowercase and uppercase what you would do, but let's not worry about that. So what if you have to look for every time Adam appears? Well, what you would do is in, instead of just having one if statement, we're going to have to have a series of if statements. So we're now we're going to have to knock this out. So for each time it increments through your string, at i equals zero, so, at, the, so uh, at every time it increments up, if i is equal to the character a, then, yep, we're going to have a whole bunch of nested here. Then if input dot at i plus one is equal to whoops I didn't put a space here the character d and then if so this is a whole bunch of ifs right here then if input dot at i plus two is equal to the character a then our last if statement is if input dot at and then that's going to be at i plus three is equal to the character m. So if all of these if statements turns out to be true, then we can go num of chars plus plus. There we go. So then we can print num of chars. Uh, if you're looking for uppercase and lowercase, you could do this. This, and then throw in an or. And then you can go input dot at, and then i is equal to then the character a. So it's looking for either this or that. So you could do it that way, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to have all of mine lowercase, so no worries there. So I believe all that will work, so let's try this out. So I press F5. Let's go Adam H Y A D M H U A D A M and then I don't know T Y. Something like that. So let's go enter. And now let's see how many times Adam appears. There's A D A M right there. And then A D M. So that did not work. Then A D A M. So Adam appeared twice. And there there it is. Number of characters, two, even though it's not really characters. Uh, let's try another example. 
Let's go um, ADAM, HY, AD, G, ADAM, uh, Y, AD, and then enter. Uh oh, it appears that we got an error. Now why is this? I don't want to close this yet. There's actually a flaw with this code. And what it is, is what happened is, the reason why we got the error is because right here at the very end, as it's going through this one at a time, when it got to this I, I mean this A right here, it checked to see if I, I it was A, which it was. So then it automatically, without incrementing, you know, going through the loop again, it just went right to this next if statement. It checked to see if I plus one was a D, which it is. So then it went into the next if statement to see if the third one after was an A. But there is no character right there. So we got an error. It tried to check for a character that doesn't exist in there. So we're going to abort this and try to figure out how we can solve that. So um, so if we look at that, I shouldn't have gotten rid of it. But anyways, so if we you know, just type in a bunch of stuff right here, um, since, since we're looking for a word that has four um, characters in it, there's no need to look um, any further after this G right here. Because if this H, J, or F was an A, it wouldn't matter because at that point, Adam can no longer fit, right? So, um, then that means we don't have to go while I is less than the length. Instead, we could go while the um, input is length minus three. So basically, it's minus then how many additional if statements you have. So we have three additional ones, so we only need to go three less. So instead of, so instead of stopping at the F, we'll stop one, two, three back, which is the G. So that will solve the problem for us. So I click save, and I run this one more time. And let's go, let's see here, Adam, H-Y, Adam, J-U-A-D-A-M, A-D. Let's just do it like that. So we'll end with an AD right there. And this time we didn't get the error. So let's see how many times Adam appeared. There's Adam right there, HY. Then another Adam, JU. Then another Adam. But then we have an AD right here, but it didn't try going on anymore. Because, well, it didn't have to go on that far anyways. So it worked for us. Uh, so that's about it for this uh, project. Uh, for this little tutorial might be a little homework assignment or something like that. Uh, but. But yeah, the only other thing that you might be given just to trick you is look for the word Adam or some sort of word, but maybe one of the one of the characters can be anything. Like maybe the D could be anything or the A could be anything. If you do that, then just get rid of one of these if statements. So, you know, like if you didn't if the D didn't matter, if the D could be uh anything, then just have this be the a I, then this I plus two is equal to the A then this i plus 3 is equal to the m. So that's all you would have to do to change that if you're given something tricky like that. So that's it for this project. I hope it was helpful for you, and I'll see you next time.